Good morning, everybody. This is third lecture of mathematical methods in physics by B.Sc. Today's topic is volume element curvature linear coordinate system. Last time we saw what is the length element. Just we have to revise all these things here. So here, what is dl1? dl1 is equal to h1 du1. dl2 is equal to h2 du2. And dl3 is equal to h3 du3 here. Last time we saw what is the length element here. In that case here we saw here what is dl1, what is dl2 and what is dl3. So we have to see here what is the volume element curve in your coordinate system here. First we have to draw the figure here. Suppose here. So this is the figure. This is your x axis. This is y axis. And this is z axis here. So here distance along x axis we will take here it is dl1 here. Distance along y axis it is we will take here dl2 here. And distance along z axis it is nothing but the dl3 here. Now then we have to see here. First we have to see what is the area here. First we consider here this is area. We have to consider here this is da1 here. So over here this is area. We have to consider it is da2 here. Right here. Now here this is the third area here. We consider this is the plane here. This we consider it is your da3 here. And we know here what is area. Area is equal to height into base here. So what is area? So we consider it is da1 here. What is da1? da1 is equal to so which are da1 this plane is the reverse suppose you can see it is your o so which are a b c and o here so what is the area of da1 da1 is equal to this plane multiplied by this plane here so it will get here dl1 into dl2 here last time so what is dl1 here dl1 is equal to h1 du1 here and dl2 is the reverse h2 dl2 or du2 we can write directly here it is the reverse h1, h2, du1, du2 here. Similarly, we have to calculate now du2 here. What is du, da2? da2 is equal to, now here, what is this height here? The height is nothing but the, this height, this height, it is nothing but the dl3 here. dl3 and what is this here? This distance is nothing but dl1 here. So, we can write here, it is dl3 into dl1 here. And you will know that here, what is dl3 and what is dl1 from this equation here? So, we get here, S3, H1, DU3, DU1. Similarly, what is DA3? DA3 is nothing but the, this is shown by the red portion here. So, DA3 is nothing but the, this is nothing but the DL3 and this is nothing but the DL2 here. So, DL, DL2 into DL3 here. So, we know that equation what is DL2 and DL3. It is equal to S2, S3, DU2 into DU3 here. So it is nothing but the all the area here. Now then we have to find out here what is the volume of the curvilinear coordinate system here. Now here we have we draw this figure. So here this is the this is nothing but the area element here. So next to that here we have to see here what is the volume element in spherical polar coordinate system here. Last time we saw here what is the spherical polar coordinate system here. So here this is your x axis, y axis and z axis here. It is your x, it is your y and it is your z here. The P is the particular point here. The coordinates of point P in spherical polar coordinate system is R, theta and pi here. Now today we have to see the volume element in spherical polar coordinates here. Now this figure is complicated so I have already drawn this figure here. So we have to find out the area of the this PQRS here. So here first we have to we can write this figure here. So we know that here, this is your x axis, it is your y axis and it is your z axis. This is the particular point P here. Now here, this distance is nothing but the r. Right here. Now here, if we take the position of point r in x square plane here. So here, so it is your P and this is your Q here. So this distance is nothing but the, this angle is nothing but the phi here. And this angle is nothing but the theta here. So here, the coordinates of point P in spherical polar coordinate system is r, theta and phi here. So here, then we have to find out the volume of the PQRS here. So we have to write, so here, this cube is made up by, there are three corners here, PQ, PS, PQ and PM here. So this is nothing but the PS here. Okay, PS. 
So here this 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 O here O P is equal to R and extend this O P through distance small distance d r here. So this distance is nothing but the d r here. So this distance is nothing but d r here. So here now here this theta extend this theta through some small angle d theta here. So this angle is d theta here. And we know here this is phi here. Extend phi by some small d phi here. So this is uh, this is nothing but the d phi here. Now here this cube is made by three adjacent sides here. One is nothing but the so here we we can write here. What is the cube here? So here there are three adjacent sides here. One is nothing but the ps. Second is nothing but the pq. And third is nothing but the pm here. So we have to write what is ps here. So here ps. Ps is nothing but the, the arc of the circle of radius small r and angle is nothing but the th d theta here. So what is Ps? Ps is equal to Ps is equal to r into d theta here. It is already written here. Ps is equal to r into theta here. What is Pq here? As already I told you that here. So here Op is extended by some small distance dr here. So here this is nothing but the dr here. So here Pq is also dr here. So here Pq is equal to dr here. Now then important thing is nothing but the, we have to find out the pm here. So we can't directly find out the pm here. So here what is pm here? Pm first we don't know what is this distance here. So here this suppose suppose we consider here it is O here O we can write here it is O dash here. So here O O dash is nothing but the suppose here is your J here we can write here. Now here we can we can't draw, draw uh, write directly what is pm here. For that here we have to calculate here O dash p here. So we don't know O dash p also here. So we can write here O dash p is equal to x here. So here O dash p is equal to x here. So here in triangle, in triangle O, O dash and p here. Okay, in triangle O, O dash p here. What is sin theta? Sin theta is equal to sin theta is equal to front side x divided by the diagonal. So here this is the r here. This diagonal r here. So sin theta is equal to x upon r here. So what is x here? X is unknown quantity. It is not x axis here. So it is the unknown. We don't know what is the value of this o dash p here. So here x is equal to x is nothing but the o dash p is equal to r into sin theta here. So this is nothing but the o dash p here. Now we can easily find out the p here. So here x is equal to here x means here we can find here. So what is x here? This distance is nothing but the r sin theta here. So this distance is r into sin theta here. Now here we know what is this angle here. This angle is nothing but the d phi here. This distance o dash p is nothing but the r sin theta here. So now we can find out here what is pm here. So pm is nothing but the so what is pm? So pm is nothing but the r of the circle of radius r sin theta and angle is nothing but the d phi here. So here what is pm? Pm is equal to r sin theta into d phi here. So here it is equal to r sin theta into d phi here. So here as we also here we got all these three quantities here. We got ps, we got pq and we got pm also here. So here we know here it is dr, it is d theta and d phi here. So volume element in spherical polar coordinate system can be written as so it is here v here. V is equal to pq, it is pq multiplied by ps multiplied by pm here. Why do we write pq of, of first here? Because we know here the coordinates of point pr are theta and phi here. According to that sequence, we can take here dr quantity first here. So it is your pq is nothing but r dr here. ps is nothing but the r d theta. Secondly, theta. And third is nothing but the phi. So it is your pm here. So we can write here. What is pq? pq is nothing but the dr. Multiplied by ps here. It is r into d theta here. Multiplied by pm. pm is equal to r sin theta into d phi here. So here we can write here, this is your dr into r d theta into r into sin theta into d phi. But we can rearrange the terms here. So we can write here 1 into dr multiplied by r into d theta here multiplied by r sin theta into d phi here. So here these are the, this is the 1 is nothing but the coefficient of dr r is nothing but the coefficient of d theta and r sin theta is nothing but the coefficient of d phi here. So here, so here we can write here, it is your h1, it is denoted by h1 here. So h1 is equal to 1, h2 is equal to r and h3 is equal to 
R into sin theta here. But here in spherical polar coordinate system, where h1 is denoted by h r, h2 is denoted by h theta here, and h3 is denoted by h phi here. So here these are the h1, h2, h3 here. So this is the equation for the volume element in spherical polar coordinate system. Now let's last article within one two minutes we can cover the what are the what are the planes here that was remaining from the first lecture here. Actually, it was the uh, beginning of the chapter here. So what are the planes here? Just within two minutes we can com complete this uh, small article here. So here there are, so here suppose it is your x-axis, it is your y-axis, and it is your it is your z-axis here. First we draw. So we have to draw three figures here. This is your x-axis, it is your y-axis, it is z-axis. Again, we have to draw the another figure. It is your x-axis, it is your y-axis, and it is your z-axis. First, we draw the plane, one plane here. So here, this is the plane. It is your P Q R S here. So see this plane here. This plane cut the z-axis. At this particular point here, and this plane is parallel to x axis and y axis here. So, here at any point here, the plane, this PQRS plane, cut the z axis at z is equal to z dash here. So, this plane is called z plane or it is your z plane here. So, here this z plane is parallel to x y axis here. Now, secondly, we can draw the another plane here. So, we, have, we can draw the, this plane here. Suppose we uh, draw plane in this figure, simple plane here. Okay, this is one period. Now here, see here, so we can change some directions here. Okay, so here it is your P, Q, R, S here. It is clear that here, this plane cut the y axis at any point here, y is equal to y here, and this plane is parallel to x axis and z axis here. So here this plane cut the y axis at y is equal to y dash here. So here this plane is not known as this plane is known as y y dash here. Now another plane we can write here. We can we can draw the third plane here, which is the last plane here. So here, this is simple plane here. There are some others. Oh. This plane. Now here, this plane is parallel to z axis and y axis here, and this plane cut the x axis at x is equal to x dash here. Correct here. This plane, suppose it is your PQRS plane here, PQRS here. Now here, this plane cut the x axis at x is equal to x dash here. So here, this plane parallel to z axis and y axis here. So this plane is known as x and x or x dash here. So these are about the place here. These are the different types of place here. So here we, uh, we saw here what is the area, what the volume limit is spherical polar coordinate system, and these are the place here. Thank you. Have a good day.